in about 20 minutes. If you drive in Warner Robins, get ready to slow down. The city installing speed cameras in several school zones. Megan Western tells us more about the camera. She also talked to the man who says he'll be happy to see people take their foot off the gas pedal. In Warner Robins, you may see some people speeding through school zones. There are some times when you see people traveling at a high rate of speed faster than they should be considering as a school. The kids are out. Juan Jones lives in Demon Territory near Warner Robins High and says he shares the road with speeders daily. Uh, probably twice a day. You may have seen the signs go up, but you'll soon see cameras by Warner Robins High School, Northside High School, Huntington Middle, and Lake Joy Elementary, and Jones is for it. It's just safety. Just slow down. You know, if you're late getting somewhere, you, you were late before you started, so slow down. Warner Robins Police Captain Gary Edwards says it's all about safety. Um, we've had some collisions, you know, where we've had some angle collisions and things of that nature. It's where speed was involved. I want to just slow everybody down because there is a tremendous amount of traffic. He says they haven't had any recent pedestrian accidents, but they want to keep everyone safe. And with short staff, they're using their technology. This particular technology checks multiple vehicles at the same time. It's more efficient. Edwards says they plan to make a public announcement on April 1st. That's the start of a 45-day grace period where any speeders caught on camera will receive a warning. And you can't say it's a trap, something that just happened out of the blue we didn't know. Um, that's a good thing. And starting in mid-May, they will issue tickets. The first ticket will cost $80, and any after that will cost $130. In Warner Robins, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. And now Edward says the speed cameras will be enforced throughout the entire school day whenever school is in session. We're taking a look at other speed camera sites in Central Georgia. In Perry, cameras at Matt Arthur Elementary School and Perry Middle School target speeders going more than 10 miles per hour over the posted limits in school zones. In Macon Bibb, school zone camera enforcement is active one hour before the school day and one hour after dismissal. The flashing lights only indicate the reduced limit around the start and end of school. The cameras do enforce the regular speed limit even when the lights are not flashing. There are cameras at nine schools and the Bibb Sheriff's Office says they will eventually add them to all public school areas.